Carter Rock Research Division, Maryland, houses over 30 million gallons of water for indoor testing of ship and submarine designs for the U.S. Navy. It is the birthplace for the Navy's newest attack submarine, known as the Virginia class. So the, the hydrodynamic facilities here at Carter Rock support the design and development of the Virginia class submarine, designs, sail shapes, body lengths, all of those were done small scale to avoid costly building and testing full scale. The testing conducted at Carter Rock offers accurate guidance to the fleet, as well as helps the shipyards in their design and construction aspects. Right, an analytical model is a computer model, a computational model that we develop based upon the testing that we do in the facilities here at Carter Rock Division. Um, those models are then validated against the small scale data and it's utilized to predict the full-scale behavior of the submarine so that we ensure the submarine is safe when it goes to sea. With the focus on littoral battle regions, the Virginia-class submarine is engineered with maximum special warfare capabilities, including improved magnetic stealth with a primary design that enhances acoustic quietness. Virginia-class has a dedicated hovering system. It's a what we call a vent and blow system or a huff and puff system. The, uh, it takes water in and out of ballast depth control tanks to, to change the ballast so that it can hover or, or go near zero speed near the surface. So, so the Virginia class submarine was designed for littoral operations. It has the hovering system which supports special operations forces. The special operations forces can be deployed and retrieved in the littoral environment to support global war on terror. As the methods for engaging the enemy continue to evolve, Carter Rock continues its stewardship in designing and shaping the future of the Navy submarine force. For the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer David Michael Ross.